Cyber family, welcome back to the channel. But before we get into this video, I want to say thank you all so much. We are 10 subscribers away from hitting a thousand. So you already know we're going to be popping a champagne bottle when we do hit that landmark. I don't know if I'm going to be in town or be out of town, but just know the next video that y'all see when we hit a thousand is going to be great. So for today's news, we have golden tickets news. Let's check it out. So right here, we have golden ticket, even though I love the design is no longer golden it's now purple, but I still like the design of it. We have Mr. Brees Hall, great stats all around, like phenomenal stats. But we all know what separates running backs at this point is the X factors and ability stack that they get, but mainly X factors for running backs. So we'll have to see what Brees Hall gets for his ability discounts and also if he comes pre-equipped with any type of X-Factors because that's the only thing that separates running backs at this point in the game. Next, we do have another running back, Mr. Darrington Evans, which is also a lighter running back than Brees Hall. I'm already predicting that these two golden tickets are going to be the most common and they're going to be the cheapest. Same stats all around, more of a elusive back than a receiving slash power back like how Brees Hall is but like I said overall the, these cards are good statistically but nothing matters anymore in this game unless you get angry runs equipped or freight train or some type of automatic broken tackle X factor next we have Julius Peppers which I do believe he is 6 7 or 6 6 7 or 6 9 it's one of them I think he's 6'7", though. But 99 speed, 99 hit power, 90, 99's for where everything matters. Now, the 85 pursuit is kind of low. That's actually pretty disgusting on this card. But, like I said, it comes down to what the abilities are. Now, if he gets like a crazy deep zone knockout, mid zone knockout, and a pick artist all for 0 AP, yeah, this card is definitely going to be going for upwards of where... Uh, this Cam Chancellor is currently going for about five million because golden tickets without training variety packs, which I do hope that they do put into the game, without that is going to be very expensive. So just be prepared for that. Now for the last card, and I do believe that these four cards do get released tomorrow, which is going to be Tuesday, May seventh. We do have Mr. Vincent Jackson right here, R.I.P. 99 speed, 90s for all the route running, six foot five receiver. So great height on him. Now I would say the only with him being a physical archetype, I don't know if he's gonna be able to get the uh, unless the person who designed this card gave it to him was like the route tech for zero, third down threat for zero. But I would say the ideal abilities that you would want with a card for this height. Route take for zero, jukebox for zero. That's it. That's all. I don't think that you need much of anything else to make this Vincent Jackson card a top receiver in the game. So that's the golden ticket review. Like I said, overall, they are all some good looking cards. Now, for these special offers that I saw when I got on, these are the final AKA deals of the year. And I still have a few spots on the team that I want to get that are aka cards so we have a must buy I've, I've never seen them say this is a must buy the odds must be good on it or something six percent chance at a 98 uh seven percent chance at a 99 that doesn't look like that's a must buy to me and then we also have the aka cruise ultimate bundle 692 plus is 596 plus is 82 or an 86 a 96 or 99 you get two of those and also a 99 overall. Now that is a deal. That is that that's that might be the best value bundle that I've seen all year, aside from the platinum bundles. But I think it's a little it's, it's too late to go ahead and spend money of that sort on a promo that's already ended. Now we still have some other some other uh aka drops coming out oh yeah buy that save the save the topper a hundred percent and then we have an aka cruise bundle that's 30 percent off aka cruise packs 
Uh, and we also have the AKA Cruise Opportunity. 292 plus is in either 196 or 99 overall. Yeah. So we're we're gonna buy we're gonna buy some two of these offers. We're gonna do the AKA Cruise Fantasy Pack, and we're also gonna do the AKA Cruise Opportunity Pack. Hey, let, let, let's see if we can be great. Because y'all gonna know who the card I'm trying to get when we pull them. All right, so we got the points loaded up on the account now. Now, listen, I'm not quite just fully expecting the whole let's pull Sherman. Because a lot of these cards now for the 99 overalls, they lost a tremendous amount of value after these golden tickets was just released. I don't know why. Because it's not like these golden tickets are in the positions of these same cards. But, hey, I'm not going to complain with it. Let's get into the final deal first and see what we get out of that. And then the must buy deal. So that it must be the eyes on it must be higher than what they proclaiming. I don't really care about these AKA cruise tokens. The only thing that you can do with these now, I don't even know if they're, you, they allow you to quick sell them. No, you can't even quick sell them. So we're, we're going to get rid of these two and just have them collect dust in our binder. But right here, we do get two 92 pluses. I'm okay with seeing a 96 overall, like perfectly fine with that as we get 92 overall Bruce Irvin, which is one of the 99 overalls that I would like to get on this team. I would love to get that Bruce Irvin. And then, all right, we get two Bruce Irvins. That not what you want to see, but right here, 96 or 99 overall. I would like to see a full animation. No, we don't get full one. We just pulled three Bruce Irvins in a row. Now, a week ago, this Bruce Irvin car was going for about 200K. 200K. Now he's less than 100K. Which I'm not upset about it. But I would heavily like the value to be there when you're opening up these packs. But the value is just not there. Now, for the AKA Cruise Fantasy pack, this is a must buy, according to EA. You must buy this. So they must be going to be giving me a 99 overall. I would hope. Let's go ahead. Let's get these AKA Crew tokens out the way. We don't, we don't need them. We don't have no use for them. We can't get another AKA uh, Cruise player. So let's see what we get. 92 plus overall fantasy 96 overall fantasy and another 96 overall fantasy i'm not sure how many cards come in here i want i if i was a betting man i would say only two on the on the better side i would say three nope two all right 92 pluses we get 92 waddle we get a full one 94 justin matabike aka Mata Beast. All right, so we didn't hit the minimum on that one. Can we be great and see at least a 99 in this video? We get a full one. 96 overall, Emmett Smith. Let me see a 99. 96 overall, John U. Smith. Okay. I, I, I think I see how this trend is going to go. I don't think that we're going to be able to see a 99. But, hey, I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. That is not a full one. That is 96 Jalen Waddle. This is a full one. 99. Wow. Wow. That The likelihood of that happening is so rare. Hey. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We got John o. Smith. We got Jalen Waddle. It was a Dolphins pack opening, so I can't be upset at that. How much is that Jalen Waddle going for now with these special offers, though? Let, let's actually take a look at that. So he's still pretty pricey, around 360K. And I don't think that's the minimum. I don't think that it is. But yeah, let me know down below how do you feel about these golden tickets that we just got revealed to us. And also, if you opened up any of these AKA special offers, like I said, 
I would probably just save your money, wait for the golden ticket offers to come out tomorrow because you know they're going to be coming with them. Especially without us having any type of training variety packs in the game, that's the only thing that EA would do. That's EA. But yeah, man, listen, I love you all tremendously. I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. 10 subscribers away from 1,000, and we're about, what, a year and a few months into this? Hey, I don't... I don't take nothing for granted and i'm grateful for everything that y'all have done and the things that hey we're gonna be growing into but until next time my brothers and sisters i'm out